Well, I'm uh, calling it patched here. Got it in there. Door handle on. Looking good, and uh, in fact, works good. So, um, yeah. Well, so happy uh, Saturday the 14th out here at the Beetle Barn. Um, yeah, nice uh, overcast spring day. Probably 60 out here, maybe. I don't know, maybe not. Anyway, I guess uh, what I got to do today, get into this guy and uh, kind of hit a few spots here on this uh, door project. And um, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and hit a little bit of that rust real quick with the sandblaster and see where I stand. Well, don't you know it, I found a few more patch uh, areas. I got uh, a couple little pinners right there. Most of this is pretty uh, pretty solid, but I got a couple little pinholes there and around the corner here. This one here is actually a screw hole from the inner uh, panel. But anyway, so I got a couple little areas, probably make, uh, I don't know, make a couple little patches, I don't know yet, we'll see. I don't want to cut that whole chunk out of there. And I got the same kind of business going on down here on this corner. So, anyway, a few more little patches. Um, well, uh, here's what I got cut out for now. This bit of this corner. Um, on this one side, I'm going to have to come down further here. Over, uh, around in here. But, uh, the piece that I'm using here has got some crap going on right in there as well, but this uh, shape, you know, continues all the way around this door so I can cut another little piece out somewhere else of some good stuff. So I'll make that as a second patch. What I think I'm going to do is get this first piece patched in. It may end up with a, a, gap, in, a gap in here or something. Uh, because I'm going to make another patch, but I want to get just up and around this corner all in one piece, and then I can lay another piece, you know, over this way, coming this way. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to cut my patch out and weld in my first part of my patch. Well, based on the available donor metal, this is the patch I came up with, which will get me just around the corner. Then uh, I got to cut some of this section out. I got to go a little further here. So I'll cut this out and make another patch for that area. And then the same on this other end, a little bit of a, another patch. But I'm going to weld this piece in, get it all set up, and then uh, cut out my next little sections. So I got to clean this up and uh, get it welded in there the part that's going to stay and then I can cut the rest of that crap out of there and go about my other two little patches. What's the matter here? Oh my goodness. Well, it's coming along here. Um, anyway, I got this end here I'm going to do now, get rid of those other holes. The only piece I had that would fit here has got some pinhole right in here, so I'll probably end up cutting this little bit off and putting another little flat flat patch right here, but we'll see how it works out. Um, anyway, I'm going to uh, clean the paint off of this guy and 
clean it up a bit and uh, put it in there. Well, my patch job on this side over here was a uh, failure. I just kept blowing holes in it, and I guess you can see I screw that shit. Uh, pull it out anyway, and uh, I'm out of material. It's preformed that'll work for what I need, so I uh, cut a chunk out of the skin of that. And I guess you can see what I got here. It's a nice substantial piece. Anyway, I'm uh, fixing to make a patch. So this is going to be a, a first for making curves and stuff for me. So we'll see how it works out. Well, here's the way I'm going about this curve thing. First, I, uh, I bent my little sharp edge, and then I'm just trying to work a curve around this piece of round here. Let's see if it works out. Well, I don't know if this will work out. We're going to give it a shot here. This is uh, a factory piece. Um, and there's what I've got. And uh, if I lay them up end to end, see if I can do it. I'm uh, really, really close. So I think this piece will fit in there with a little bit of tapping and persuasion if I can get the uh, outside dimensions to fit exactly. So I'm going to go with this thing. This is some uh, substantial stuff here actually. I was surprised how thick it is. Anyway, it's going to work out. Well, this end is done finally. Um, got no holes and uh, it's going to be fillable all the way around the corner and on the face there. So I'm calling it uh, done on that end, quit messing with it. The more I mess with it, the more I create work. So I've got to fix this little other end now. And then I'm going to call that area done. Well, you can see I made this one bigger. Uh, had to go back a little bit on this edge to uh, get in some decent metal to weld to. Uh, it creates less holes. Uh, there's a surface rust in the whole thing, but it's pretty flat here. Over on the other little bit here, it was had a lot of uh, little craters in it, which just tend to blow through. So Anyway, this will work out. Well, Sunday evening now, and uh, it's been determined that uh, to replace stuff like this, is a pain in the ass. Anyway, I ended up uh, with a multiple of patches, but it's basically patched from here all the way around to here. And I'm happy with it. It's going to fill in fine. A little bond will take care of it. There are no holes. And I can't see daylight from underneath, so pretty happy with it. Anyway, little bondo and uh, then I get to go after this business up here. But that's another day. So uh, from the Beetle Barn, thanks for watching.